That's gonna be a pain. We know how to put a piece of rubber over us. Hi you guys, in this episode we're gonna finish the replacement of the rear suspension arm bushings on Vera's Land Rover Discovery 3 because we got interrupted last time because of Vera's birthday. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the video. In the last video, you can see how we take the rear lower suspension arms out, how we replace the bushings, what bushings we used, and how we press them back in. You can see that whole job. And here we're gonna continue by replacing one of the lower carrier bearings by pressing it out, putting a new one in, and finishing the entire job. And this time, we're gonna drive over to the TÜV and see if we can get finally the TÜV inspection. So go back, check out the previous video, if you want to know how that job started. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. that's going to be a pain. We know how to put a piece of rubber over us. You have to get the right angle. There we go. Oh, beautiful. WD-40. Very nice. Now we can finish that side. On the other side, we still have to change the, this bushing. All nuts and bolts are copper greased. I keep the underside of the bolt heads and the nuts free of copper grease, okay? I also wire wheeled all of them so they're nice and clean and they're definitely better than aftermarket. Yeah, and we have a little bit of noise pollution today because Robin's at home and he got a new to him milling machine from his grandpa and he's gonna restore it and fit it to size so he can mount it here. We are using this picture to reassemble the lower suspension arm. So we take off, what are we taking off? Some stupid bar. The tie rod. At least you know we are taking it off. Don't you pinch your finger. No, I don't. That was, it's, it's almost in. He pushes it through. It. It's not quite in. There we go. We got all big bolts back in. So everybody who watches really closely notices now that we installed the bump stop here on the wrong end. It's supposed to go on this end and we have it on this end. So this bushing is not gonna last that long. That mistake happened and there's no other way right now than putting it together. And I gotta leave these loose until we have it in the correct right height. Oh my god. Also here, I gotta leave it loose. There is a difference between bushings and bearings. Bearings don't need to be adjusted when the vehicle has right height. Bearings can be adjusted right away because they roll endless. Bushings gotta be adjusted when the vehicle is in the correct right height. Because we're getting every time comments that Oh, you're supposed to adjust that carrier bearing when you have the right height. No, you don't. Oh, that tool is a really important tool when mounting suspension parts. Here, yeah, the bolt is coming through now. You can see it. The bolt goes through the sixth section first and the nut is on the sheet metal section. So, Are we taking it out again? Oh, are we taking it out? I don't know. You so, okay. They're gonna get torqued later. Remember that we got no air inside the strut, so when I push this up, it is only a very light weight on it. If this would be filled with air and I would push this up, there would be a risk of pushing the car off the lift. So we are doing now the 487 or something like that. 485. Oh, he pushes it up. I'm still gonna do an inspection here. Same. I, three over here. I don't know. So is that going to be affected over there when we push but up here? The tie rod is going to put a little bit of stress on it now. So oh, I'm scared. Oh, that's quite a lot. There's 485. Oh, yeah. Okay. And for that, we have the torque spec here. Yes. And I don't okay. speak the suspension language. Lower arm to knuckle bolt. <laughs> 175, so we start with So, I don't know which one that is. It's probably that one. This one I could actually torque before it's in right height because it's a bearing and not a bushing. Yeah. 
375, very well. Perfect. This is one of the lower arm bolts. They get 275. That's a lot. Perfect. The other one, this is so easy on the lift. It's like changing spark plugs on a Toyota. Good. Ah. Good. 275 shock absorber to lower suspension arm 300 is that the one Land Rover has a different opinion about yes ah my hands is up there and Land Rover says 300 we are doing 275 can you push on it yes good tolling bolt gets tightened with 175 newton meters you're supposed to use that bolt only five times or we use it about now the eighth time so it's <laughs> missing tolerance even for a land rover you could put some hydraulics in here and then you have rear steering look ah. isn't that cool well actually we don't so 115 how do you know 115 Okay. Perfect. Okay, the TÜV guy likes that. We torqued, of course, all of those. Okay. It's not like in a Ford plant where they mark them and they haven't even torqued them. Houses are 16 years old and we got actually a donation from Carl Hensen, from one of our subscribers, um, with two new brake hoses included. We're gonna put them in, but when the weather is a little warmer. Yes. There we go. Yeah. So you don't lose your muffler. Yeah. The corrosion on this vehicle is extremely good for the amount of kilometers and weather conditions it has here in Germany. You can see there is hardly no rust. It's just a little bit of surface rust. I mean, the frame is not even starting to rust. This is nothing, okay? Yeah. I know some guys in Australia think now, oh, there is a special There's so rust. much rust on okay. your car. We would love to have your red dust over here, but we have red rust. This yeah. is equivalent, okay? <laughs> we move our tools over. To the next side. Why do you need to take a break? I have to eat something. Because it's not even 11 o'clock. It's 11.20 and I eat breakfast at 6. Okay, so go eat something, I wait for you. Yeah. I, I buck Robin. So Robin, how is your machine coming along? Good. So what Robin is doing, he's setting up this drill press, which is sort of a milling machine. It got a cross light table on it, and he's got it from his grandpa, from my dad, and he's got to shorten the table a little bit, otherwise the machine will not fit into his workshop here. Second one is has dried for an hour. And we'll mount it. And we'll mount it. Okay, good enough. Let us yeah. have fun. Okay, it's in. And we are not doing the bushing, the bearing. Oh, shit, you're right. We got to do the bearing. That is, we got to do that one. Yeah, okay. And they didn't include the clip. Oh, shit. It is. Rear, lower, and there's even the old bearing still in here. <laughs> and so. maybe a clip. No clip. So that's cool. the one we need. Oh, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. There it is. It's still in a good shape. The cup is the receiver. So it goes on to this side. Oh, I remember doing that. We did that last summer. This is the pusher. There's a shock in the way. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now this. Oh. Yeah, can I see yeah, it? It's quite loose. Put some copper grease on here if you ever want to get this out again easily. This is all. Oh, good. looks kind of small. It says knuckle on it. Good. Yes. Let's see if we can get the clip in. Oh, yes. This should be really easy. Okay, it's in. If not, you're gonna lose uh... a wheel. Yeah. Oh no. There we go. It's in. Okay. We don't do that. 485. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All the right height ones are done. 
that doesn't feel like a lot. 115. Good. <laughs> the tort bolts. Yeah, for the We've never guy. done that before. This piece is 46 pounds in the UK and not available in Germany. Unbelievable. So, yeah. Why so, can't you bend me a new one? I can, but not right now because yeah. we have to get to the TÜV. No, I mean instead of welding. It's easier than making it completely new. Okay. the air suspension re-enabled and now we're going to put it back into right height. I asked you if I yeah, can say something. Yeah, you can something. say something now. <laughs> so I would like to film the outtake after we pass the TÜV. Christian wants to do it before we even go to the TÜV. We are on our way to the TÜV inspection now. I think we fixed everything in the previous episode. We fixed the stabilizer bar links just so Vera could go on a trip and because they've been completely uh, detached. Uh, I don't know how that <laughs> happened. And now we fixed the remaining suspension bushings, what the TÜV inspector complained about. I think he was easy on us. He found such severe problems <laughs> that he didn't even bother with the small problems. Okay? Yes. He didn't care about the antenna, the wheel oh, spacers, yeah. the winch. The, the license plate extension so bottom line is if the car is well taken care of and you don't have any sharp corners yeah. you're usually okay but of course if you have a detached stabilizer bar link <laughs> you can be as nice as you want that's the one thing he's not gonna let go <laughs> oh. oh everything is empty so he took the car in and we'll see if it passes. It's the first time we make a bad experience at the TÜV, yeah, okay? I have a nick in my windscreen, which, not... ha which has been passed by the TÜV two times before. Even three weeks ago, he did not complain and now the guy who's supposed to only check the suspension bushings complains about everything else. So we're gonna have to replace the windshield. That's gonna put us out of the time limit. So we have to pay the inspection fee again. We got our sticker, okay? But it was not easy. It started to be a debacle. He didn't want to give us the sticker because of the windshield again. I should say again, because it wasn't really a serious complaint last time. No, and the time before. But this time it was. The he chip. said the chip in the windscreen is in the line of sight of the driver and he cannot make an exception. That's what he said pretty clearly to me. I started to complain a little bit and I think I got him to soften up a little because I said, well, it went through last time and so on. And then Vera comes. Oh my God, I and she was everything. <laughs> she was less diplomatic, okay? She said, that is not fair. We were here last time. Why didn't he see it? and so on <laughs> so he said he cannot make an exception i ordered vera to leave again <laughs> and i said well look it's gonna be a problem because we got only five days left and then we have to pay the 125 euros again and it was there before and yes we should have maybe repaired it and we didn't understand it to be a serious fault and so on then he went and got his colleague his colleague looked at it and then they both decided they're gonna let us go. Don't discuss this with your wife there, okay? Because men have a hard time making an exception if there are women involved. They feel weak then. If they make an exception if there are men involved, they feel strong. Okay, so he gave us the sticker, but he said, we have to get the windshield fixed. And because we wanna do a good job, of course, we're gonna fix the windscreen. Yes. And. But I did get my sticker, so yes. I am street legal. So this completes our video this week. We got our suspension bushings fixed and we have our sticker. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. In any case, please don't unsubscribe. And we want to thank our patrons a lot for their support. 
and we'll see you next Sunday. <laughs> that is a top secret project for his work. I gotta pass at least two training classes per year. <laughs> not reveal any company secrets. <laughs> yeah. Look at that fit. Perfect. I can almost lift it with it. Ha! Huh. That's a good fit. That got to be at least like by a hundreds. Yeah. Okay. So we're changing the oil filter and the oil on Robin's Aprilia. It got 10,000 kilometers on it now. And that's the second time. Look at this tiny filter, how cute that is. There we go. That is so nicely done on the Aprilia. Clack, clack. We also mounted now a new chain and a new sprocket in the back, new sprocket in the front. We're gonna inspect this little strainer for dirt and debris and it looks all clean. Cluck, cluck. So we're filling 5W40 because nobody fills 5W dumbass 30. So Robin and Christian are at work. I missed my cue to film so Robin took over. And now it's ready to go and I need to order brake pads. It's what are we pads. putting in? 5W40. But I don't know what the English word is. Four stroke. And look how we rigged it up. A two post lift to all the wives out there. Let your husband build a two post lift in your driveway. Ah, it barely fits here. Always wanted one of those stickers on my car. I got a new sticker from the Aachener Euregio Land Rover Stammtisch. It's a Land Rover Club in Aachen. Thank you, Georg. Nicolas Cross sent me the Haynes Workshop Manual for the Discovery 2. Love it. So I have the Freelander from Georg Lofink. I got the Land Rover Discovery 1 and 3. And from Nicolas Cross, I got the Land Rover Discovery 2 Workshop Manual. Thank you guys so much. The air filter is clean. Yeah, cool. Look what Christian did. He threw away the motorcycle chain. Oh my God. Robin's gonna make a Damascus knife out of that chain. Oh, I've thrown it away and you have to fish it back up. Robin and I are in my dad's basement and we're gonna get his old drilling and milling machine here. He doesn't want to use it anymore and he wants the space. Robin and I are gonna disassemble it so it fits through the door here. This is really narrow. We may have to even use the angle grinder and cut it down. We got quite a bit of stuff disassembled. Now we're gonna see if we can take the tower off. Here is my dad's old vise. So him and I installed this machine in here exactly 38 years ago. And it's gonna get its new owner now. The rest of the cutting we can do in our workshop. So we got everything loaded up. So that's a lot of stuff. The first thing we got to do is Robin got to fix this table here because it's too tall for our room here. And then we give it some paint and we put it back together. So Robin is going to cut this thing down by a little bit over four inches. The milling machine project is almost done. You know, they welded the table back together. It's painted. It needs to dry. That's what they do best and like most. I don't like cleaning at all. Oh, don't hurt yourself. It's heavy. That's exactly what you need to hear, right? Some stupid comment from your mother. Whoa. <laughs> We've had those for 25 years at least, if not 30. Christian is very attached to them. And Robin is not. So Robin got his machine complete now in his workshop. My dad, so his grandpa bought it about 40 years ago. 
stopped and he didn't use it anymore so Robin picked it up cut this table down and now he's got his own machine here in his workshop so he doesn't have to walk all the way over and use my machine and get it all messed up now in the last episode when we had to interrupt because of Vera's birthday there was a scene at the end where I said something like, well, if somebody wants to know how old Vera turned, I said she turned 41, just like last year and the year before. <laughs> and some people actually did the math wrong, okay? <laughs> because I didn't explain it correctly. I should have said Vera turned 41, just like last year and the previous eight years. Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> but I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. I was so happy to receive so many of them. That was really nice of you. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. And, and we'll see you next Sunday.